YouTube, Brad Phillips. If you don't already have an XBC 100, it's awesome, but it's about to get more awesome because not everybody carries one of these cables or one of these cables in their pocket, which takes you from an IC3 to an IC5 or an IC3 to an IC2 so that you can check a variety of batteries. So we're gonna go out with the old, in with the new, or more specifically, in with the new to go with the old. Because we don't ever go out with the old. Because I don't ever go old. out with the old. <laughs> Here it is. Yes, it is the XBC 200. I'm gonna have to remember how to say that now. Yes, you are. So this is a special unboxing, special event, super short, long format video from Brian Phillips RC. We rarely do this, but this is something I'm super excited about. And it's funny because it's such a non thing, but yet I love this tool. I use it more than pretty much all the tools I have in my RC tool bag. And so you guys are gonna see it on this channel and I know people are gonna ask about it. Why does it matter? Well, I'll tell you what. First of all, the XBC 100 is not that expensive. If you're trying to buy this and the 100 is in stock and the 200 is out of stock, get the 100, add it to your tool bag because yes, you can buy $5, $10 battery checkers and throw them on. But if you have a smart battery, you got to do something. So let's open this thing up. Looks like it's got one of these pull out bottomy styles here. We're going to show you exactly how this works and see if it's worthwhile in your application. Okay. So goodness gracious, I feel like I'm opening a diamond jewel or something. Oh, I'm being more exciting. Yeah, for you. Okay, there it is. XBC nice. 200 smart checker. Now I always say battery checker but it's not just a battery checker. Now also, I just wanna point out something. This comes with a battery checker protective screen cover, and I'm gonna put that away for now, and then this thing peels off the factory, okay, protection, okay? So you can leave the factory protection on if you wish. It's not really a big deal. I have used mine so much, and I wish I would've just peeled off the original factory protection. This is what it looks like. It's dimensionally slightly bigger. You still have the balance lead plug here. You've got the IC2, the IC3, and the IC5, as well as the servo test report and USB-C. I believe that's gonna be for firmware updates. So it's just like this. The only thing that's missing is a USB-A port, okay? So there are some advantages to the USB-A port, and I'm just gonna tell you this because we have actually used the USB-A port but that was back when you only had USB-A's, it was rare to see a USB-C charging something. But we this is before we had battery backups on the house. Uh, we used our XBC to recharge cell phones, mm -hmm. which was nice. Okay, so getting to the point, if I wanna check this totally discharged battery, let's just stick it in. Oh yeah, smart charger, smart checker. Look at that, sweet. And then you have tactile buttons which is nice because these are not tactile buttons, they're just soft keys or part of the screen. So what we'll do is we'll click, we can scroll down, we can see the cell balance, we can go back, we can press and hold, then we can do the smart settings just like before, very intuitive up and down, which is ironic because they actually fix the up and down because on all the smart chargers, they're kind of like backward in my mind. Okay, so let's go to storage voltage, and let's check it. As you can see, we can scroll through just like before. I'll leave it at 3.9. And then if I wanna scroll down to back, I can hit back. Now, suppose we wanna test a servo or something like that, then all we have to do is plug a servo in. Do we have a servo close by? Why don't you mm -hmm. pause, I'll grab one. So we got this servo here, and I'm gonna plug it in. It doesn't have to even be, it says negative is on what would be your right, mm -hmm. okay? So we'll plug in the brown there. And then what we have to do is just remember, if you're gonna use this, you have to press this, not smart, press momentarily, go to servo tester, and they have two different speeds. It's this speed, the 1500, I think that's microseconds. And you can see it springs to life. Click, it goes to one extreme, click, it goes to the other extreme, click, it goes to the other extreme. You can also walk through the steps and you can set how big the steps are or double click and it'll go through a sweep, which is really nice. And so the cool thing about this checker is it's not just checking a smart pack, which is really nice. If 
But in fact, let's even check this dinky little battery, which of course has an IC2. And so we'll plug that in. I'm guessing it's not totally dead. Sweet, looks like it's discharged perfectly, which is really nice. And same thing, you can go in, go to all the smart settings. You can change the rate with which it charges from this little utility, which is really nice, okay? So we'll disconnect that and then we'll just show a balance lead. We'll also plug in here, just get your polarity so it's lined up. So the positive goes to the furthest pin, wherever it's plugged in. And then look at this, watch this, click. You can even go in and servo test from the balance lead. Nope, hold on. Does it only work when it's plugged in? Yeah, you gotta plug in the discharge lead. So there's the discharge lead. Okay, click, and then we'll go to servo test. Yeah, there it goes. So it looks like it needs to be hooked up to a balance lead. And yes, that, that chime means that it's getting the actual data from the data pin, okay? And it's gonna translate all that through, and this should do the necessary firmware updates and things like that, if necessary. I have not seen a lot of that, personally, and we see a lot of batteries, as you can see from that counter over there. We have tons of them, and one of my biggest selling points for smart batteries is that all three of these batteries are smart discharged back to storage level. And all the other ones are probably not, <laughs> which leads to an untimely demise. So just remember, when you pay the premium for the smart technology, there are some advantages. They are a little bit more expensive, but even if you're not using smart batteries, I love having an XBC battery checker because you can actually test a non-smart battery. Here is a competitive brand. Let's plop it in there and show you exactly how this works. This is why this tool is a tool that should be in every tool bag of every RC enthusiast. There's no excuse. Now I'm gonna grab just a totally rando battery. This is a hard pack 5000. And we're just gonna plug this sucker in right like this. Beautiful. Now, the other thing you can do is you can actually click and you can go in here. Once it learns that it's a smart battery, it's gonna open up new menu options, okay? So you can also go into cell balance, okay? And you can start a cell balance. So this is also a cell balancer. Now, a smart battery should automatically balance, right? Should. But guess what? Let's say it's not smart. Let's see if we can do that. Let's plug in our non-smart battery. This is from a competitive brand, China Hobby Lines. Okay, so 4.10, whatever. So it's pretty close to balanced. I'm gonna click, and we're gonna go to cell balance, start. Booyah. It's gonna start cell balancing. This is so cool because you can do so many cool things with this utility. And so I can't say enough about the XBC battery checker, the smart checker. Even if you get the 100, you're gonna be very happy, but we just, we couldn't go without doing a special piece on this. It is a really popular tool. The 100 has been awesome. And just full disclosure, you can do all the things that I just did on this with this but you have to have additional cables. Yep. So just keep in mind, having additional cables for you might be the better approach, okay? And so for some of you, that might mean the easier way to do it is to actually carry the smaller XBC 100 and then carry around these extensions, okay? So all you have to do is then plug in these adapters. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and link to all the different cables and we'll link to smart stuff, okay? So we will still obviously keep and maintain the 100 and we're gonna keep and maintain the XBC 200. But if you see the XBC 200 and you wanted to see the differences, now you know. I did not know there was a difference in size, but as you can see, there's a little bit difference in size. This is probably about, I don't know, about 12% bigger. On that dimension, it's barely bigger on the width, it's probably about 3% bigger. And then I would say that that's about 16% bigger, okay? So very close, it's got the same outline on the back. They would nest like this and be even smaller if you needed to nest them, okay? So great tool in your tool bag if you haven't already gotten an XBC 200 Smart Checker. I'm gonna highly encourage you to consider doing that. Today, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wake these both up 
and I'm gonna show you exactly how they look side by side in terms of screen brightness, okay? So let's pop in a battery and then we'll hold this thumbnail-esque style, okay? So you can do all the things you wanna do right there, just like that. So cool. So guys, if you wanna get one, check it out. Links in the video description below. As always, you help support Brian Phillips RC when you buy stuff from the links in the video description below. This is a little bit of a different video because if you're brand new to Brian Phillips RC and you haven't figured out what we do here, we help get you out of the chair and into the air or on the ground or in the water or wherever it is that you're doing your RC experience. And so one of the ways that we help you to do that is by teaching you the methods to make all this equipment work. And you can look just in this one room alone, there are hundreds of different styles of RC experience. And in this property alone, there are thousands of RC experiences, some big, some small, in every way of life can really enjoy RC. We're gonna help get you there. So don't forget to click the bell when you do subscribe so you're notified of new content just like this. And if you guys wanna learn more about smart items like this, click on the links that are gonna populate at the end of this screen, okay? So check it out, XBC 100 Smart Checker, XBC 200 Smart Checker now with all the additional ports and plugs so that you can plug in all the batteries without all of the adapters, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Also, if you wanna learn more about transmitters, if you wanna learn more about chargers, and you wanna learn how to set up airplanes and helicopters, which is the harder thing to do in retail, hobby-grade, ent entry-level RC, as well as ready-to-fly, entry-level, toy-grade stuff, we do all that right here on Brian Phillips RC. And as we advance through the ranks ourselves. We're gonna bring you right along. We're gonna give you guys a helping hand. So if you're just coming back, we'll get you there. If you're just brand new coming to the party, we'll help get you there. Doesn't matter which direction it is, or if you're just kind of trying to learn something new, check out Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back for more.